So I've done the flight to Istanbul several times. Uh, I've done Japan. So I'm used to these long flights. And what I do is if I know I'm going somewhere, I start saving up so I can get business class. Uh, because Oh, yeah, there you go. Because my legs are too, listen, I, I, this ain't about trying to be bragging about luxury or nothing. My, my legs are too goddamn long to be traveling 14 hours. Yeah, you're kind of a grasshopper. Over yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting like this. And these, by the way, these are not my elbows, these are my knees. No, because business class, they, they stretch out to a bed. Uh, they give you these pods. And seriously, person of my height, like when you, when you get that, it really does pass a lot faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you go to sleep, you know, you, they, cause they start bringing you drinks and shit. They want you to go to sleep. They don't mm. want to deal with your ass. Right. <laughs> 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 Would you like yours with the real hypnol, sir? Yeah. They, they, they keep that alcohol flowing. So they, 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 they treat you like a kid that they want you to go to sleep. <laughs> they don't want to deal with you, man. <laughs> a little uh, <laughs> a Benadryl daiquiri. Yeah. Yeah, they want your ass knocked out. They don't want to keep serving you all night and everything. <laughs> they, they, they're, they're nice. They give you, because they give you premium service. Bing, bing, see what it is. I'm cold. Yeah, they them. I'm bored. <laughs> y'all, you won't get bored. I'll tell you that. This is the, you, because they make sure you get all the movies that the other people ain't getting. Because, again, they want your ass to shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's, it's there, it's not only a premium service for you, it's a premium service for them. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. have everything in there so they don't have to deal with your stupid ass. <laughs> not like those other customers over there. where they Because, you know, they they deal with enough people fighting and yeah, yeah. getting aggressive. You know, you're supposed to be a higher quality passenger. Yeah. But just in case you're not, <laughs> here's another <laughs> bourbon, sir. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> Shut the fuck yeah. up. What's up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I try to save up to go business class if I can. If not, if not I at least try to go... Now they have what they call what, what uh, it? economy plus, mm -hmm. which is not bad either. Right, I mean, right, right. You, you, they still give you like free alcohol, not free. You're paying for it in one way or another, but uh, the seat does stretch out more leg room. Mm -hmm. So it's not that's not such a bad thing. Yeah, either. yeah. So yeah, it's just like I said, man. I, I'm I ain't thinking I'm special. I'm just too fucking big and tall to be trying to. Try, try to go 14 hours on a flight because they, they put those seats together now mm -hmm. to, to where they, it's even more cramped. I know. They, 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 are, they are treating people literally like cattle now. Yeah. I, uh, when I came back from <laughs> when I came back from Istanbul, uh, yeah, I, I sat next to this dude and I saw him. I saw him right before we got on. I said, damn, that dude is big. And, I, and it was a dude I talked to. Like, this dude, he even told me, like, we sat down. And the first thing that happened, we sat down. We just said, "Fuck this! This is not gonna work." <laughs> he, he's bigger than me, but you can't have two big dudes sitting next to each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, his shit, his biceps are pushing me out to the aisle. Uh -huh. So I, you, you know, he, he just said, "You know, this." He said, "Listen, we talked for a little while, and you know, I talked to him about his workout schedule. This, this is a dude that works out like three hours at the gym every day." I, 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 I even had that. Was it Dwayne Johnson? He was sitting there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Because I even asked him. I said, "Man, what the fuck happened to you?" They, they, that you have to go to the gym, insinuate like you had a tragedy in your life. You got somebody beat the shit out of you, <laughs> right. and you vowed that this would never happen again. Kick Santa's face at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> somebody took your woman. Yeah. Somebody, yeah, somebody buried, just kicked Santa in your face and buried you into the. Oh, what? Oh, Julian just texted me, man. I just woke up, my bed. I was tired as fuck. All right, yeah, stay home. Yeah, just keep your ass there. No, he, I. Yeah, somebody took your lunch. <laughs> somebody put you in a locker. Somebody beat your ass, you know. And he did tell me, he's like, yeah, I was, I was skinny, man. I was really skinny. And I just decided one day I didn't want to be skinny no more. I was like, yeah, after you got your ass beat, but I didn't say nothing. <laughs> but he's telling me, you know, he's giving me all kind of workout tips and shit. And, you know, he's like, just go to the gym, man. You're going to do something if you go there. And I was like, so you, what, you just go there for three hours every day. And he's like, Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay. Right. And he went to go get those hair uh, implants. Hair plugs. Yeah, yeah, hair plugs. Yeah, he had to connect the dots on his head. Oh, <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, if you go to Istanbul, you see people with uh, looking like pinhead or some shit with dots on their head. They they just got the hair. The, yeah, the hair I guess plugs. I guess Istanbul's a, a, a hotbed for uh, cosmetic surgery. Yeah, if you go there because I, I need to get a dental implant, and I keep getting things going like, hey, come to Turkey, do it, <clears throat> do it. They may even have a package for you. Well. It's a, it's like a thousand dollars if I do it there, but I got somebody here who could do it for twenty three hundred. So I'm looking at okay, the money I spend to go there to get it done, I, I would just come out even. But 
they might give you a hotel and you'll get to walk around. They'll and, give me a hotel? So I don't know. Now, I know for those people getting those hair plugs. Well, I know stuff like that. Yeah. With hair plugs and, and, and BBLs and... and, and um, mm. Yeah, they'll give you they'll give you a package. They'll set you up in a hotel and mm -hmm. you know give you. It might even give you like tour guides around Istanbul and stuff. Cause you see those guys walking around with those bandages on their head and shit everywhere, yeah, yeah. everywhere, man. Uh, they're getting yeah, they're getting hair implants and yeah, they they go by they go. They, you see, you see about five or six of those guys every day in mm -hmm. Istanbul, but. This dude got that. But, yeah, man, we were talking about his yeah, – yeah, we even talked about his hair transplant and everything, talked about his life a little bit. And when it was done, he finally said, you know, this has been cool, man, but you know this ain't happening. I was like, what, fucking each other? He's like, no. <laughs> I know. I'm like, well, I, man, I know, I know the conversation was that good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm tempted, but no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but – He's like, nah, man, you know, we, man, listen, you, you, you're you not comfortable right now. I was like, I'm so glad you said that. No, I'm not. I said, like, man, because you're big ass, man. Mm -hmm. You take the most of the space. And he's like, yeah, I know. He's like, so they, they put us in another seat. They put me in another seat. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So that's why I say, man, these seats are, they're not, they're not comfortable, man. And they're made to be uncomfortable for a reason. One, so they can get more money. Two, so that they can actually make you pay for a, high, a higher price seat. And by the way, those higher price seats, they're not always in economy plus or in business class or first class. A lot of times, they're just like, well, we'll give you just a few more inches in, co in coach. Yeah. You get an exit seat. Yeah. With no window. You right, know? right. So, yeah, they're, they're trying to get you to go there and pay more money for that. So, you know, uh, knowing that I got a 14-hour flight and how they're cramming people together because I'm old enough to remember when flying was like economy plus. Mm -hmm. You know, you, I mean, I don't know if you if you flew yeah, back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah, back in the day it was. Matter of fact, in the early days of flying, because not everybody could afford it, people would get dressed up in suits. It, yeah, it was like it, got, it was a big deal. Well, if you like in the nineteen like nineteen fifties and sixties, you could get dressed up and smoke. Mm -hmm. You could oh, even yeah. smoke cigarettes on yeah, the flight. Yeah. So yeah, man. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I'm uh, when I go to Istanbul. Probably try to get business class if I if, when I go to Thailand definitely because that trip is longer. Yeah. So yeah, if you can ever save up for business class, uh, it is worth it just for the perks. But it, you know, if you are tall, you're big, definitely try to do it, man. If it's a long flight because those long flights are brutal, uh, <clears throat> and you might be lucky to where you can, if you get a row where there's nobody, you can lift up those, uh -huh. those arms and stretch out. Stretch out, out yeah. But some always go. They. I swear to God, they design those seats where every turn you make, there's a, something, there's something poking in the back yeah, of the ass. Yeah, there's something to make it not comfortable like that. They do that on purpose. I bet they do. Remember I on my long they... flight, I just there were empty seats, but not any empty that were <laughs> at the window. And whenever I have an aisle seat <coughs> and I'm trying to sleep, I'm, I'm constantly getting bumped. Oh yeah, I hate that. They design the ergonomics. No matter where you lay, you gonna get a cramp. Yeah. Pump, so, pump, sorry. Yeah. Hey, you want okay. to <laughs> It's always a mysterious hand coming out of somewhere. <laughs> they designed it to, to I, and I was, I, I, I think now they designed it to like make people aggressive because uh, there was one dude, they had him sitting in the back of the plane and a woman <laughs> in front of him, she, she went ahead and let her, her seat back and that dude was pressed up against the wall. <laughs> And he was, and he, and they got into an argument. He's of like, he, he's like, can you phrase your fucking seat? You know I'm back here. And she's <laughs> like, it's my right, right to, <laughs> to, to to back my seat up. <laughs> I don't care I'm, to fuck you in your comfort. Uh -huh. It's terrible, man. Terrible, terrible.